Hello Capricorn, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your zodiac reading for the next week to 10 days or whenever you click on that channel that it the title intrigues you. We're going to start off with your animal oracles um, for you and someone else. This week you seem to be taking on the energy of the boar. There's a bit of wildness going on with you, Capricorn, which is a little bit out of character for you. But this is also a healing energy for you. Maybe it's time you took um, took a break and did something fun, did something wild and carefree and travel a road down, uh, down a road you've never been before just to explore. The corresponding energy with someone else is this person wants you to come out and play. This person can be very healing, show you many things that you may have or insights that you may have not ever thought of before. They, they rather bring out that side of you that wants to explore, wants to expand those horizons. Beautiful energy. Your fairy deck is telling us, here you are, Capricorn, if anything is embodied, that's you. Earth Mother, um, Lady of the Harvest. Very stable and balanced, abundant. And this other person is, well, they're gaining speed. They're gaining ground. They're coming towards you, Cap. And they want to grow with you. This is going to be a love reading. This is for the second clarifying deck. And your crowning energy is the moon. So it's about secrets and hidden things. Maybe about those places you want to explore for fun. It's also about seeing through the veil. A messenger of air. So a message is coming in that's going to bring some clarity to it. I often call this my dogma card, though, because of uh, the energy that surrounds it in this deck. This is about looking at things from a different angle, saying... Um, sticking to your integrity but maybe you're looking at things from or need to look at things from a different angle sometimes what we think is right is not always right it's only because it's the way our parents taught us you've been having some sleepless nights and worry perhaps crying up in your head too much thinking things are worse than they actually are there is um a message coming in that is going to please you probably from that otter saying come out and play let's let her hair down and relax have some fun and it's going to open up this path for you so so far we well there's air water and fire here so far queen of earth you could be dealing with a virgo or you are embodying this energy uh and I think this is probably about you, Cap, because of the Earth Mother showing up. Um, nurturing, organized, stable. And someone from the past. So maybe it's the otter wanting to reconcile with you. Or there's a judgment call being called, um, not necessarily with this person, but maybe someone else. Maybe that's why you're up at night. You could be worried about uh, your family, someone in your family. Um their return maybe they've been gone too long or it could be a return of this person who is the otter embodying the otter there is celebration coming here um knowing what you can bring to the table knowing what others can bring to the table and celebrating it uh you have had some weary battles here and it's depleted your energy so yes capricorn the advice is get out do something nice relaxing have some fun lay on the beach you're ready to fight another battle if you have to to defend your integrity or whatever it is that you've been going through that has you up in your head but you're almost at the 10 completion when you can lay down those burdens whatever's going on uh you could be dealing with the pisces um seeing your self-worth this person sees you as something very beautiful something they look at you like you're royal a treasure could be an offer of love coming in here capricorn page of air they're spying on you they're watching you really close 
waiting for the right moment to communicate. King of Water, this is the King of Love. So giving you your space at the same time their hand is extended in case you need it. They love you uh, deeply, compassionately, and want to merge paths with you. And finally, the Ten of Air, there was an ending. You had to put an end to something, something that was hard to do, but you put an ending to it. Your crowning energies here are going to be clear. Oh, there's three cards I didn't realize, but no matter. Yeah. There's some things that you don't know yet. They're hidden, uh, but you're still trying to fix them. Messenger of Air is being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, working hard. You've been working way too hard. I think that's why you need to take a break, Capricorn. You're overdoing it. So perhaps this message that's coming in is someone who just wants to take you away for a weekend. Yeah, this up in your head was a death. Not necessarily a physical death. But some someone or something you had to cut out of your life uh, to help you transform out of these horrible energies that you were in. But this message coming in. Oops. We can cut the deck now. Bottom of the deck. Let's cut it first. Okay. Yeah, we have some creative passionate beautiful messages going coming in plans in the works page of fire is going to be clarified with seven of swords hmm retreating from the battle that's probably why you're battle weary down here two swords you just cut your losses and got out perhaps you're looking back so maybe it can be fixed. So this message comes in. Um, someone wants to fix something with you. Queen of Earth is clarified with strength. You have great courage, great strength, and you walk your talk. You are, in a sense, uh, bringing 5D things into 3D. So this person who... The, they, oh my goodness, this is an offer of a new beginning with someone from your past. An offer of a new beginning that will be prosperous, stable. Three of water, hangman position. Okay, so maybe you're in hangman position because you're not sure you want to accept this offer. Because this, look. If this wasn't celebration, it's about a three-party situation. Perhaps this person had cheated on you, and that's why you broke up. Nine of fire. Three of cups again. You're depleted of energy here. You don't want to fight another battle with this person, but it looks like you're considering it in that hangman mode. You want a celebration as much as the next man. Messenger of water. This person who broke your heart sees you as beautiful. Uh, they screwed up. Did they lose you forever? Your heart really got broken. You're finding your balance, though. This person is just watching you all the time. But you're finding your balance. They see that you have your balance. Even through stormy waters. You're doing it. So it looks like they're going to come in with an offer of love. But there's still sneaky behavior going on. It's like they haven't changed their ways. What a shame. I mean, this offer coming in uh, to offer, uh, this is from the universe to tell you that it would work out. It would be stable. It would be prosperous. But what about the love, eh? If they're going to sneak around. They do love you. Perhaps this is a person person with uh, sexual addictions or, you know, they have a very, very dark, dark side to them that that happened, you know, during childhood. So they were never able to fill that hole. Prince S, Prince of Cups. Yeah, the very person you ended it with coming in to make an offer of love. Imagine that. 
I'm going to find out more about this over the extended reading. And for the cost of an extended reading, you can ask me a question underneath it to help personalize it more for you if it resonates. $10 a month gives you access to all the Zodiacs and the Afternoon Delight extended readings. Well worth your time and money. So hope to see you over there. Um, check me out at Facebook for daily messages. God bless you, Capricorn. Have a wonderful week. Bye for now.